All right, my friends. Facebook, take two. Facebook, do you love me? Okay. So we'll try it again here and see if we can get the old Facebook to work correctly. Apparently I was frozen. You know, here's the thing about Facebook freezing me. Facebook always freezes me in like a, you know, kind of position instead of like a, hey, hey. And so it's always sad um, when I freeze in like just a really, you know, gross facial thing. So we're back. And so I wanted to finish with Instagram since Instagram was playing nicely. But hi guys, hi Erica, hey Jenna, hey Callie. But I want to talk to you guys about my inner circle because I guarantee you we've got no less than 200 emails today, 200. I have probably received over 100 DMs already on Instagram with lots and lots of questions. So if I can come on here and just um, kind of answer them as a group, it's so much easier. If you guys would do me a blessing and if you will just Comment if you're here, if you have a beating heart, if you're alive. Hello, Star. Hello, Callie. Okay, excellent. So, um, real quick, for those of you who are new to one of my Facebook lives, my name is Jennifer Allwood. I teach creative people how to make money online. I teach business owners of all kinds how to build their social media online so that they have more people to sell to because the number one issue of almost every single business is this I need more sales. Who will say, I need more sales? Hey, I need more sales. There's Melissa, there's Amber, there's Janice. I need more sales is the number one issue most business owners have, okay? And Sheila, thank you for sharing this, girlfriend. This is your training group. I'm so honored that you're here. And hi, Anna Marie. Hi, Cindy Manley. I've got a ton of my inner circle girls in here. Okay, listen. So, um, this is not what I ever planned on doing. I want you to know that I stumbled into being good on social media did not plan for it at all. In fact, I had a woman message me on Instagram today and she said, I did it, I signed up, uh, but this is gonna be terrifying for an introvert. And I DM'd her back and I'm like, girlfriend, knowing full good and well, you know, I didn't have to DM her back, she was already in the group. But I'm like, you cannot have that attitude coming into my inner circle. Number one, we're not gonna speak over you before you get started. Do not speak over yourself. This is going to be a challenge because you're an introvert. Number two, I too am an introvert. So for all of you who are introverts, who are like, I get a pass on all the social media stuff because I'd rather hide, uh-uh, no, girlfriend. Hiding's lovely, but your family's starving. Not so lovely. So hopefully you guys have listened to my podcast this week about how so many of you women have the keys for changing the trajectory of your family, of changing your family's future. God has given you the wisdom to gain wealth. He's given you talents. He's given you skills. Some of you can make, you can bake, you can do jewelry, you can paint, you can rearrange furniture, you can do all the things. You can do all the things. And you want to start a business, you don't know how. We have given you several resources in the last couple of months, free resources, a starter pack, showing you how to get your business up and going. If somebody wants to type it in here, you can. And Catherine, that's okay, babe, that it's you. That's all right. We have, there's help a coming. Okay, so go to www. Wait, my team keeps telling me to quit saying that. I think it shows my age. So let's try that again. I'm not going to say www. You already know it's the wild, wild west dot jenniferallwood.com slash starter pack. It's not really the wild, wild west. Okay, so jenniferallwood.com slash starter pack. This shows you if you've got an idea and you're wanting to make it into a business, what to do first, okay? Then, here's the thing. You're gonna need social media. And if you already have gotten to that point and you're like, okay, I've got social media going, more than likely you need more of a boost on social media. Facebook gets more challenging all the time to get posts in front of people. Instagram for so many people is an absolute like question mark. And most people do not understand the power of using Pinterest for their business. I had a woman I was DMing with on Instagram today because my DMs are blowing up. And she does cake decorating. And she's like, um, I do it for my local area. And if you're on here, cake decorator, please, please respond here. And you got my DM because we chatted back and forth. And so she said, I do cakes in my local area. Would your training work for me? And I'm like, well, honey, how do you get your cake orders? I'm guessing it's mostly word of mouth, right? And word of mouth is important. 
But what's even more important is to be getting other people besides word of mouth. Like the way I ran my decorative painting business 10 years ago was strictly on word of mouth and a couple magazine things here and there. Okay, business is so different, my friends, today than it was 10 years ago, five years ago, even two years ago. If you're still trying to do your business today like you were two years ago, it's no wonder you're struggling. Everything's changed. Social media has made it like imperative that if you don't have a social media presence that looks legit, that looks legit, where your feed looks good, where your posts are regular on Facebook, if you don't have that, you are losing dollars every single day of the week. So I was telling her on Instagram, honey, it's great that you do cakes, but do you realize you should be putting those cakes all over Pinterest? Didn't know that. Pinterest is a visual Google. That's all it is. Who uses Pinterest for Google? Nikki's in my inner circle. Vicki Holland has a cleaning service. So Vicki, let me ask you, do you need more cleaning clients? I bet you do. How are you gonna get them? You need a presence on social media. You need to be posting on social media. You need to be posting more, Vicki, um, than just about how you would like to clean people's houses for X amount of dollars per hour. You need to be giving out free cleaning tips for the people that'll never hire you, but then you get started to be looked at as like Vicki the cleaning professional. So Vicki's telling people how to get nail polish out of their carpet. Vicki's telling people how to clean your stove when your you know kids have made ramen noodles and they've charred up the whole thing. Not that that's ever happened here, but perhaps yesterday. Vicky can start telling people and she becomes like, what's the guy's name? It's Bob somebody, not Bob Vila. Is it Bob Vila? Who's like the handyman guy on the internet. And now people just submit questions to him. And he started blogging. And so instead of him having to keep going to people's houses and doing the work and doing the cleaning, Vicky, now you're like the expert in the cleaning and you're getting paid to not have to leave your home, but you're getting paid to have a blog with ad revenue and all of the things. Like friends, listen to me. Oh yes, thank you Damon for being here. Thank you Anne-Marie for being here. Thank you Emily for being here. Here is the thing, putting on my teaching hat for just a second. Some of you are just thinking way too small. And sometimes I wonder if as grown-ups, I could get choked up on this statement, let me just say this, that we have just convinced ourselves that our life, and I think I'm gonna get emotional because my life has just changed so much in the last couple of years. I think we've convinced ourselves sometimes that this is all the better it's gonna get. And for those of you who are living paycheck to paycheck, or you're living tight every month, or um, you have enough, but you wish that there were more. You, or maybe you feel really unfulfilled. You're staying home raising your kids, which is what you wanna be doing, what you know you to be doing, but you're wanting something more. Sometimes I think that we've convinced by ourselves like this is it. And, I, and, and we've forgotten that we can like still dream and that we shouldn't feel guilty about wanting more for our lives. I feel this much guilt over wanting to be able to retire my husband out of corporate America and bring his butt home where he can be with the family and he can help raise all these crazy kids that we have and do all the things and remodel the house and be here working with me. I feel zero guilt over that. Zero. And ladies, you shouldn't either. It is okay for you to want more and to want your own thing in addition to raising those babies. And so for those of you who are like, I've never even thought about like what my business could be other than the few things I'm putting on Etsy or the couple of things I sell on Facebook Marketplace. Honey, you're thinking too small. Damon Oates, can I use you as an example? If Damon's still on here, listen, Damon joined my coaching group. I think it was like last June, so like a year and a half ago. Damon had a really good paying multi zeros a year job. There's Damon right there. Jen's one of the reason that we've 100 times our revenue. I will never forget Damon telling me he would never leave his day job because the money was too easy. And I'm like, oh Damon, you're gonna leave that day job because you're gonna be making so much money online. Like why will you still need it? And so there are some of you who have been conditioned to think really small. And you know what I'm talking about. Maybe your family all thinks small. Your family all lived small. Maybe your family, um, maybe they're the type of people that are giving you the, well, who do you think you are, Amber, Jennifer, Emily? What makes you think that this isn't enough? Who do you think you are going online? Some of you are falling for that BS, don't do it. They're just angry at themselves that they never followed some of their dreams. 
Beverly Taylor says, you thought you would tank and I've taught you how to take off and fly. Oh, I'm so happy. Look at all these people who are in, in my group. Okay, so Stephanie says she needs the guts to leave her day job. So Stephanie, let me tell you something. You're never gonna get the guts. Like if ever you think you're just gonna wake up one day and you're just gonna feel like gutsy, it is probably never gonna happen. But there will come a time when staying at that day job is taking away from the part-time thing so much that you're losing over here because you're clinging to this. Now listen, Stephanie, this is a word for you. And this is not saying that God's saying for you to leave today, but I want you to listen to this, okay? Sometimes we cling so tightly to this thing over here that we can't even really see what this thing over here that God has for us is. We cling so tightly because that's all we know and it's comfortable. And it's like your favorite like whoopee, right? It's like your best little stuffed animal. This is what you know. This is PDOs, 401ks, responsible people keep this. And yet God's got this whole other like wild ride for you over here, but it's gonna require peeling your fingers off of this thing. That's a word in particular for you, Stephanie. So I'm not saying that you need to jump today, but I'm saying you're gonna know when it's time. And when you do, I pray that you have, Stephanie, literally just 20 seconds of insane courage to be obedient to the call of God on your life and not cling to like second best for you. He has something so much better than what you're clinging to. So, um, okay, what else can I help people with? Um, several emails tonight, I hope I get in. Honey, you don't have to hope, hope is a bad plan. If you're, if you're just living on hope, that's a great like 80s song, but hope isn't what builds your business. So you need strategy, I teach strategy. My inner circle is open till Thursday at midnight. However, the bonus is through tonight, wait, no, 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 my team keeps telling me to get it right, Jen. Through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning is the bonus where you just get on an additional webinar with me next week if you sign up before 7 a.m. tomorrow. So there was that question. Also, I've had a couple people say, do you have a coupon? We have no coupon, but if you sign up for a year, then you do get two months for free. So there's that. Um, I've had a couple people ask me about um, if I, okay, one person. One person. If I join and I don't like it, can I quit? <laughs> I already talked about this on Instagram. I'm like, girl, don't even bother joining. Don't even bother joining. You're coming in with a quitter attitude and don't spread your quitty attitude around my winning group because we've got people that kick butt in my inner circle and I don't need your quittiness all up in our jam. Can some of you people tell me, um, all of you that are in my inner circle, the attitude there is one of we can do this, you can do this, we, together we are stronger, community over competition, Rising tides lift all ships, et cetera, et cetera. So the answer to the question is yes, you can quit at any time. I'm not holding you in inner circle jail. But that is so not the attitude of a winner. The, a winner doesn't go into something already planning on failing. Michael Phelps doesn't jump in the water thinking about what he's going to do if he gets second. Like it doesn't happen. It does not happen. And so adjust your thinking instead of thinking, how can I get out of this? What is my exit plan? Should I get in and it not be to my liking? No, I want you to think instead of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get in there and I am going to consume as much as possible and leverage every relationship I build in there, ask every question that I can and get all of my needs met so that I can build the heck out of my business to do whatever financial goals I've got. Thank you guys right now for sharing this. I appreciate you so much. For those of you who are like, well, what, okay, what does it include? Let me real quick tell you what's in the library that is available to you as soon as you join tonight, okay? Also know, we've had hundreds of new people join today. Vicki, uh, special prayers for Vicki, who deserves a special place in heaven, and Jenna and Emily um, and Cindy and my whole team because they're amazing. But, um, so they will get you into the Facebook group as soon as possible. As soon as you join, you should get an email right away that has your login credentials. If you joined in about an hour and a half window this morning when things were going sideways, um, you might not have got your login stuff. Send us an email, we'll get you taken care of. Info at jenniferallwood.com. Okay, as soon as you join, you should get a login that'll immediately give you access to these. Are you ready? Facebook 101, Instagram 101, we also talk about IGTV. My um, Pinterest training, which is brand new and updated, and Etsy training. We have an email marketing training, a Facebook 102, a how to get online with a website, a branding training, 
uh, pixel retargeting, a Pinterest training, and a YouTube training, in addition to some of the people and the tools that I personally recommend and have used in my business. So when those of you message me and you're like, well, who do you use for a VA? I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you. If you would like to know people I use, you can go ahead and join my group like every other person in my inner circle has. And for those of you who are like, I want to send you free stuff to put on Instagram, you're precious too and I love you and I appreciate it. But nope, I am highlighting the people who have invested in me and I'm investing back in their businesses. That end. That end. I made that decision a couple weeks ago. I'm like, you know what? Why am I giving shout outs to people who have never invested in me? Not doing it. I am putting all of my chips on the table for the people who have taken my course and who are in there week after week, month after month, some of them year after year. That's where I'm, that's where I'm putting all my bets at with, the, with that group of creative people right there. So, okay. What else can I answer for you guys? Um, People asked about MLMs. Some of you maybe just saw me talking about MLMs on Instagram. So MLM people, I love you. You're great for my inner circle, but I'm gonna teach you how to do a better way. I don't want you just promoting your MLM because I love that you love your leggings right now and your face stuff and your lip scents and your makeup and all that jazz, but I wanna set you up to still be profitable in five years. And uh, that means never putting all of your eggs into the basket of any MLM. That means you go ahead and sell those shakes, but you're gonna market yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna market yourself so that if ever that shake company changes all of its rules, you are not left holding the bag, wondering what to do now. Mm -mm, not gonna have it. You, I wanna set you up way more for success than that. So that's what I say to the MLM people. What other questions can I answer for you? What's the difference in month to month and your yearly group? Um, Belinda, so it's, so if you wanna pay for it month by month, it's $47. If you wanna pay for it for the year all up front, you get two months for free. So that's all. Um, let's see, Melissa is gonna go ahead and commit to the year with the inner circle. I'm so proud of you. And Lonnie says, there's the lotion. Everybody knows that when I put on the lotion, then that's when, um, that's when I'm about to throw down some truth. This is for, who just asked where the thing was? Or do I go to join Sherry Hodge? I just put it right there, creatorsinnercircle.com. I pinned the comment to the top. Okay. Um, Shaylin says, you own a gift shop? You've boosted presence with Facebook and Instagram, and that has helped tremendously. And then it cuts off the rest of your words. So all I can see is see more, but I can't actually click on it and see more because it's lying to me. It says see more, but I can never see the rest of it, and I'm so sorry. Um, Amber says, I'm a truth teller. <laughs> that I am. That I am. Clara? is a successful MLM. Clara, the only reason you are successful at that MLM is because of you, Clara. It has nothing to do with what you're selling. It's because you've already marketed yourself and people love you. And so they're gonna get behind whatever Clara's behind. You could sell sand, Clara, and people are gonna buy that from you because you've marketed yourself and I'm proud of you. Um, MLM is a multi-level marketing, Magdalene. So let's see, Nikki says, even if you don't know anything about social media, she will answer and teach you. We try our very best. Kayla says, you're very savvy with social media and you want to help others with their social media. And then I can't see the rest of it, but thank you. Um, let's see. Eva Morales says, do you teach how to start a business and getting an LLC and opening a business account? Eva, go to www.jenniferallwood.com. Why do I say www? My team keeps telling me, don't say it. Okay, start over so that I don't sound 47. Let's try it again. jenniferallwood.com slash starter pack. jenniferallwood.com slash starter pack. See how I left off the www? Okay, let's see. Will I go live in Facebook for the classes? Some of them are live still and some of them are pre-recorded. So the last Wednesday of every month is live because you guys are able to come on the call with me and um, I am able to answer questions for you live. So that one is always live. Usually week number three, of the third Wednesday of every month is live, but everything is recorded so you never have to actually watch it live. Does that make sense? You can always watch it later. Um, thank you guys for just being so helpful to each other. We had one lady today. I just put her screenshot on Instagram. I whited out her name, but um, she said she got into the library already today. And the one video she's watched has completely changed her mindset about her business already and completely worth the $47. And that 
is exceptional. So Shaylin Bruce says, will the inner circle benefit me? Shaylin, I didn't see what your business is, but here's what I know. If you need to build your Facebook, your Instagram, or your Pinterest, and most of you will not even realize you need to be on Pinterest, and Pinterest is 75% of all of my website traffic. You've gotta be on Pinterest. I can't even sing it enough from the rooftops. But first it's Facebook, and then we'll worry about Pinterest. If you need to build your email list, if you need to understand how to get people to your website, my inner circle is gonna benefit you. I don't care if you um, teach people how to yodel. I don't care if you do underwater basket weaving. I don't care if you walk dogs. If you need more social media people, I can help you get more. Amber Strong started my group with 12,000 followers. Now she has over 30,000. She started out with 30K a month in sales, which is by the way, not too shabby. Take 30K a month times 12 and now she's at 100k a month in sales there you go it's a numbers game you guys like so many of you if your problem is i need to make more money more than likely you need more followers and the right kind of followers not just any old followers you don't want followers that don't even speak the same language as you you don't want followers that are in other countries that you can't even send stuff to that's not what i'm teaching at all not up in here you need the right people following you, and I teach you how to do that. How often do I open it up, says Mockingbird Lane. We have not been open to the public for a public um, sign-up since January, and I'm not planning on doing another public sign-up until 2019. Mm. Clara Nicole says she is buying sand now. Hey. Lindsay says she signed up this morning. You think you're missing the email with the password. Lindsay, we had about an hour and a half that so many of you were signing up. We had hundreds within the first couple hours. Um, and so you crashed the website, which is a great problem to have. Um, Entreport just couldn't keep up. So just email Vicki at info at jenniferallwood.com. Literally my team, you guys, they are so amazing. They've been at this since seven o'clock this morning when we open and they're still on standby. They'll get you your sign on and your passwords. So, okay. Um, Kathleen says you created a cat that you have embroidered on items. You need to know what to do next. You've created a cat. I have embroidered on items. You've created a cat. What does that mean? I have embroidered on items. I created a cat. I do not know what that means, Kathleen. I keep repeating it, thinking it's gonna make sense to me. I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm tired. I created a cat. I have embroidered on items. Maybe I created a cart. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. But if you can create cats, that's cool. Just saying. Um, Amy Ball says she's scared to go live, so you're excited for tips. Okay, so I will be teaching you how to do Facebook Lives and more importantly, why to do Facebook Lives. I will also teach you how to do Facebook Lives for those of you that are scared to go live on Facebook. It's not that scary, my friends. And it's especially not scary when you go live on Facebook and see dollars end up in your bank account the next day. That makes all the, that takes the scared right out of it. Sign me up for scared. So you can do a Facebook Live where you're walking around and you have the camera pointed elsewhere. If you're a creator, creative, you can have the phone pointed at your hands. You can have it so that your face doesn't have to be on it. Have somebody interview you. Sit with your best friend. Have your kid in there. There are so many reasons so or so many ways of doing this. And people get so like jammed up about Facebook Live. Honey, you don't have to do Facebook Live. But if you want six times more traffic on Facebook, then you'll do Facebook Lives. So you can't have it both ways, Amy. You can't have, I really wanna grow my business, but I don't wanna go live on Facebook. Well, I love you. I love you. You can still grow your business. It's just gonna grow much, much slower. Okay, let's see. Thank you for putting this start attack in there. Um, Audrey says, would the IC be good for professional organizers? Audrey, babe, do you need more business? Then it's because you need more social media followers. Do you need more social media followers? I teach how to get social media followers. You are a creative. Organizers are creatives. Please get in there before 7 a.m. God bless you. Um, what else? Holly, I love you too, honey. It's the end of the night, so I'm a little bit slap happy. Janice says she's terrified of doing Facebook Lives. Janice? Okay, so Janice, Janice, tell me why you're terrified of doing a Facebook Live. What is actually the thing? Because so many times we're scared of that which we've never done. If you have done one and you can still say I'm terrified, then we'll talk. But until you've done one, mm -mm, not buying it. Uh, the first time I thought uh, I was going to puke doing a Facebook Live, I honestly remember it. And then after I got done, I was like, oh my gosh, I loved that. 
90%, I would say, of everybody that comes through my inner circle that I'm like, do a Facebook Live. They're like, oh, it's gonna be terrible. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. And then they do it and they're like, oh my gosh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I made it into this big, huge thing. And I mean, there's a stop button right now. If at any time, Janice, my nose begins to run, um, one of my kids loses their mind in the background, the dog takes a crap on the rug behind me, Mr. Magic needs attention, I lose all my words, I feel like I'm gonna throw up, I can hit finish. Like, it's so not that big of a deal to go live on Facebook. And when you think about what you're missing out on business-wise by not going live on Facebook, man, sister, come on now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm going here. Is it always on Wednesdays? Jeannie, it's always on Wednesdays for simplicity's sake for you guys and me to remember and be very, very consistent. Now, all the trainings are delivered on Wednesdays, but only half of them are live and you don't have to be there for any of them. Remember, the ones that are pre-recorded, they just get put into the group. You watch them whenever. You watch them Friday morning at 4 a.m. if you can't sleep. You binge watch them 10 in a row while you're driving to Kentucky this weekend. Like, it's up to you when you wanna watch them. If you're trying to make the lives, they're usually always the last Wednesday of the month at 10 a.m. in the morning CST. And if you can't make it live, it's totally fine. You just watch the recording. So, okay. Um, Bernadette, you live in Canada and you're an artist. Would you be able to benefit from my classes? Bernadette. Bernadette. How funny is it that your last name is French and you live in Canada? And I just say that because I took French class for two years. And I love Canada. I just got back from Canada. So, an artist in Canada. Yes, you still have the same exact social media in Canada we do here. You still need Facebook. You still need to be on Instagram and Pinterest with your art. Absolutely, Bernadette, I will see you in the inner circle. I'm gonna give you about mm, 20 minutes and I wanna see your registration come through Bernadette because don't forget that if you sign up before 7 a.m. Um, that you do get that extra bonus of an additional webinar with me. Okay, a gift shop. Shaylin says she does a gift shop. Oh, and you're the one that was afraid of Facebook Lives, right Shaylin? So you just turn the phone on, you, you put in what your Facebook Live's about, showing you around the gift shop today, you never even show your face. Never even show your face. Walk around your gift shop. How scary is that? Not scary at all. Um, Robin says, join my incredible group if you're on the fence, you will not be disappointed. So Robin, that reminds me of a lady that I was talking to on Instagram today, and I talked about this on my Instagram Live a little bit ago. And she told me that she was on the fence about joining. Um, because blah, blah, blah. I don't even remember what she said. And this is what I said back to her. You know what? Your future is worth a whole lot more than you being on the fence. Your future deserves better than you being a fence writer. It doesn't, I don't even care if it's my course, but in today's world, you guys, there is absolutely no reason for you to be stuck in your business. You have Google, you have YouTube, you have business coaches that are a dime a dozen. Literally, like I'm not trying to tell you to not join my stuff, but go join somebody's thing. Find somebody that you resonate with. Somebody who's like, who sees into your soul and understands that your business is as much about learning how to do the perfect opt-in and orchestrate the perfect email and word the Facebook Live right as it is about mindset. Figure out who can do that for you and join that person's group. I don't care if it's mine or somebody else's, but some of you, just like I said in my podcast this week, ladies, there are so many of you sitting on a mint, like you're sitting on dollars. You have so much talent, and you're like, inside you're crippled up in fear, and there's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. There are people like me that will teach you the things, but you gotta be the one that actually like, decides it's worth investing a tiny bit and getting off the fence for your own future. I started with my first business coach five years ago. She changed everything for me. Sandy Krakowski, go give her some love on Facebook. She changed everything for me. Did she teach me how to do a Facebook ad? Absolutely, but what did she do even more than that? She did this. Jen, you were made for this. And I believed her. And I did that same thing to you, Amber, when I met you in real life. I've done the same thing to several of you when I've met you in real life. Amber Strong, Anna Marie, I've told you both in so many words, you are made for this. And sometimes that's the thing that will make somebody who's just kind of hmm, chugging along on social media, it gets me like all verklempt over here, to actually just being a rock star, just having one person that can see the potential of where they're headed. Some of you have so much potential. 
but you're crippled on the inside by fear over $47 a month? Come on. You're going to spend that at Starbucks tomorrow at Target tomorrow night. I mean, this girl's like, I'm on the fence. I can't, I can't help fence riders. I can help the people who are like, I'm not sure about you, Jen, but I'm going to try. I can help you. I'll do my darndest to win you over once I've got you in the group. I'll do my best to teach you everything that you need. Okay, but I don't care if it's my group or somebody else's. Some of you need to get off the fence, for real. Like, you've been talking about this business for two years now. I'm talking to somebody, right? Right now, I am prophesying to somebody on this Facebook Live. You've been talking about this business for two years. Your family's tired of hearing you talk about it. Your family's tired of hearing you talk about it because you never actually do anything with it. You need to do something with it, sis, okay? Because, man, the years just, ask a woman who was 47 and not sure when the heck this happened. How have I even been trusted with kids in a mortgage? I don't know. But life just keeps chugging along and you keep having these dreams of something more and you just won't take one step in the direction of it. One step, babe, one step. God's really merciful in that he will never give you the whole picture. If he had given the whole picture to Anna Marie, who's on here from... Um, Anna Marie's businesses. She's got the cute earrings. Don't tell me. Inspired by you jewelry. Thank you, Anna Marie, that my menopause mind kicked in. Thank you, Lord. So she was a principal, you guys. Started with my course, started kicking butt on social media. I told her she needed a website. She got a website. She starts DMing me in January. OMG. And I'm like, that's right, girlfriend. OMG. Look at those sales rolling in. And was able to resign from working full-time at a school so she could be home with her kids and her husband. Come on. If God had showed her all that, though, back a year ago, probably would have blown her mind, would have terrified her. God's so merciful, and then he'll just give us the next step. But he also expects you to take the next step. And I don't know if that's my course or somebody else's. But honey, take the next step somehow. Get off the fence. There's enough fence riders in this world. Ain't nobody has time for that stuff. So, all right. Love you guys. <sighs> Um, Joyce says she's joining me this week now. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, Jessica says $47 worth it to change your life. I'm so honored that you think that. Thank you. Um, Belinda says I'm talking right to her. All right, Belinda, there you go. Now listen, I'll do my part by getting you in the door. You do your part when you get in there. You may feel like a deer in the headlights. Oh my gosh, lots of training. Listen, go straight to the library. You already know where your weak spots are. If you're like, I just need to get uh, my head around how to do Instagram, then watch the Instagram training first. If you already have a good handle on Facebook and Instagram, but you're like, I didn't even realize I could use Pinterest for business, start with Pinterest first. Everybody's going to come in at a different spot. So bless you guys. You're awesome. And I can't wait to see who has joined overnight when I get up in the morning. Okay. So bless you. <laughs> Beverly Taylor says, it's like school, y'all. It's like school meets church, Beverly. That's what it is. So Jeanette says she's afraid to start. Jeanette, every single one of us was afraid to start. Not, not even one of us is exempt from fear. Jeanette, the entire premise of my book that will be sold to a publisher in the next quarter in the name of Jesus is about doing things afraid. Because I think that we think fear is a sign that we're doing it wrong, or fear is a sign we shouldn't be doing it at all, or that fear is a sign that we're about to mess up, or that fear is a sign that we shouldn't, and we think that maybe one day when we wake up and the fear is gone, then we'll do the thing. And that is a lie from the enemy himself, okay? The fear leaves by you stepping out in faith, and 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 it gets easier and easier to do. Ask any of these people in this group, Damon, any of these women who are kicking booty, and they will tell you they were scared to death to do launch the website. They were scared to death to do go live on Facebook. They were scared to death to do the first TV segment, whatever. None of us are exempt from fear. The difference between the people that are seriously like, nailing it and winning and just living to life's like fullness and the people who are not is whether or not you will do it afraid. That fear is going nowhere. So in my book, we talk about what is more important to you than, than the fear? Because I have three things. Are you ready? And then we'll end this because it'll be a good place to end. But somebody needs to share this right now so that it's on your personal profile so you can just go back and listen to the last five minutes when you get scared later on this week. And this is it. I have three things. 
When I think about, I'm scared to speak at Christy Wright's business boutique event at the Dave Ramsey thing in November. When I think about, I'm scared to retire my husband from corporate America and come home with us. When I think about, I'm scared to put my book in front of a publisher, I think of three things. Number one, God's got a call on my life and I best be obedient to it. And God has a call on your life and you best be obedient to it. That had better trump your fear every day of the week. Number two, I need to set a good example for people. I used to think it was just my kids. And now I'm like, it's all of you too. I better be an example setter and you better be an example setter too. Now your kids are watching you. So mama, when you're having dinner and you're talking to your toddler and you're telling them, honey, go out for soccer. You can do this. Or sweetie, you should run for student council. Or honey, try out for the football team or whatever. But you yourself have got a dream in your heart that God's put there and you have a business idea and you want to do it so bad but you're scared to death, your kids, like it's such, mm, I want to balance my words here to not offend, but it's, you're asking your kids to be brave and you won't demonstrate the same thing for them. When it comes to your children, mothers, listen in. More is caught than taught. So your kids are hearing you talk about bravery. They're hearing it and they hear this. Because mom has all these dreams in her heart, but she's doing nothing with them. You want your kids to be brave? Mothers, you step up and you be brave in front of them. You let them know, I am starting this business scared to death, sugar britches, but I'm going to do it and you're going to help mama with it. Okay, number three, I don't want my family to starve to death. So whenever I think I'm too nervous to go live on Facebook or too nervous to, you know, redo this book proposal for the fourth time, whatever, I think to, and look at my family and I think all their eggs are in my basket. I will not let them down. I will not let these people down. I will not let them starve to death. So those are my three things. So figure out for you, what is your thing? What is the thing that will propel you into motion? Because every single one of us is scared. And that is not a good enough excuse. When you get to heaven one day and God says, girlfriend, I gave you so many talents. I gave you the wisdom to gain wealth. Look at the Proverbs 31 woman. She worked and she worked with her hands and she did things to make money for her family. And so one day when you get to heaven, I do not want the question to be, honey, why didn't you do anything with that? I don't think God will probably call you honey, but I, I say honey. And you'd be like, well, God, I was scared. And I mean, I don't know that that's a good enough excuse to get out of our callings. Fear doesn't release us from our callings, ladies. We are all scared. All right? So love you all. You're amazing. Whew, it just got churchy up in here. I love you, though. So thank you guys. You have the link, creatorsinnercircle.com. Sign up before 7 a.m. Of course, it's still open till Thursday. So for those of you who don't get paid and stuff until Thursday, no worries. We're open till Thursday at midnight. I will see you on the inside, okay? All right, guys. Bless you.